don't talk to Zach. We're, so we don't have a picture of your face through that. Like, I'm sure you're okay with that. Perfect. From right. uh, yeah. Bushfire <laughs> Studios. Got the table. Uh, how long have you been doing the painting that? Uh, I've been painting for people for about three years. Okay. I've been going under Brushfire Studios for the last year now. Yeah. Um, I definitely noticed a big spike when I uh, when I put a name to the business. Mm. Yeah. That's good. So yes. that's been it's been pretty good. It's been a good ride. Yeah. Now you said you're doing this mostly part time, or is like. Yeah, it's it, sort of part part time, full time. Yes. Um, you know, there's still about forty hours a week to go into uh, that goes into painting, uh, evenings and weekends kind of thing. Okay. Um, it's kind of hard to uh, to balance full time job, side job, kids, wife, oh, everything geez, like yeah. that. Right. Uh, so my my evenings are pretty full. Okay. Yeah. Um, so now, like, uh, you got some in front of you there for displays. That those are what you did for Joe, I understand, right? His towel. Yeah, yeah. So there's the towel storm surge. That's actually one of the first models that I did for Joe. Um, and then not too long ago, a few months ago, I ended up doing his flash gets here, which are basically space orc pirates. Mm -hmm. um, they were pretty fun to do. Uh, you know, when it comes to uh, to painting, I definitely prefer to do the uh, the big one-off models. Um, now, do you do you airbrush to start for priming, or generally speaking, yeah, any of the um, the major pieces, uh, like all the armor plating here on the uh, on the storm surge. Mm -hmm. That was uh, was airbrushed. Uh, when you get a big model, especially when you're being paid to do it, uh, it comes down to how much time can you put into this sure. uh, versus what you're what you're getting out of it. Well, right? but how much time did you put into the big one then? Uh, this one here, uh, between twenty and thirty hours. Wow. Uh, like I said, it would have been a lot a lot longer had I not airbrushed the uh, the armor. Mm -hmm. But everything you see here, like. Uh, I don't know how how well you can see the the, sh the shield there on the yeah. side. I see pretty well. But, you can um, probably move it actually just a bit closer to the camera too, so it'll, yeah. it'll show better. You see there. Yeah, there. Yeah, you go. that's better. Yeah. Well, I went with more of a say like an amber style gem just for the contrast against the blue and things like that. That's all hand brushed. Uh, but then you go to get up to the uh, the large gun there on the shoulder, mm -hmm. things like that. There's an airbrush going in there. Now, do you do just more like Age of Sigmar, Warhammer 40k, or do you do other things? Like, so, hey, I've got some D&D &D figurines or stuff like that. Or? I have done uh, a lot of other things. Um, like, uh, what is it? Uh, Star Imperial Assault. I've done a couple Imperial Assault games for people. Um, I've done some Arcadia quests with those little chibi the figures. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it was an interesting project to take on. I'm not a huge fan of the the actual sculpt quality of those things are a little flimsy. It's almost mm -hmm. like a, a rubber. Okay. But um, definitely I've been able to take on some different uh, different projects outside of Games Workshop. But this is sort of the bread and butter. Right. Uh, especially in Ottawa, uh, the community here has been, been pretty good to me. But uh, How are you doing for us? Are you backed up or are you doing okay? Or do you need... Because like I might, yeah, I, have, I just, um, a friend of mine did the Horus Heresy Burning of Prospero game, yeah. which is Space Wolves, uh, the Sisters of Battle, no, the Sisters of Silence, Silence. and uh, yes, Custodes, mm -hmm. and uh, the Thousand Suns, mm -hmm. like 30k ones. So I'm like, okay, I should paint them, but it's, yeah. So my table hasn't been empty in three years, <laughs> since I started. <laughs> um, so when you see the game here, the Death Corpse that, uh, that Mike's been playing, mm -hmm. I've done a full army for him of those. Wow. Uh, I've done two other armies this year. Uh, those are definitely a very big time sink. Yes. Um, oh, have a seat, Joe. Um, <laughs> quick, okay, so you're, re wait, you're roughly, well, not wages, but you know, your charge fees and stuff like that. Is it flexible or is it like set for if it's so many hours, it's this? or? I definitely don't charge by the hour. Uh, if you were to charge by the hour for, for some of the things that you do, um, you know, a large model might end up working out to $400, right. and then you're never going to get any business yeah. done. So you definitely have to like what you're doing too, and you have to be <laughs> reasonable with what you're charging. Yeah. Uh, if you, if somebody's interested in getting something painted professionally, uh, a little bit of research online, looking at a few different companies that you'll send your your minis to. Uh, nothing is completely outrageous. It's it's all generally around the box price of the model. Okay. Uh, so I try not to charge outside of that that range. Uh, but that'll also include, you know, my cost for materials. Uh, if I'm shipping, I do a lot of stuff for people in the states, uh, oh, yeah. which also works out better too because the exchange rate. I can yes. keep it. <laughs> I can keep it pretty, uh, pretty nice for myself. But then 
they're getting a better deal they, because they the really American good. companies, if I charge $100, the American company is charging $100 even when they ship something to mm -hmm. me. Right. They're still getting the better deal on that. Right. So it's pretty yeah. good. Now, um, some companies offer varying paint or levels of um, uh, quality. Yeah. So some will be like, oh, you, you want this just tabletop quality, just basic three colors. Mm -hmm. Some will want it, you know, uh, display quality. Yep. So do you offer multiple tiers of quality as well? I, I absolutely do. Um, something like uh, these flash kits here is what I'd call uh, tabletop plus. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you're going above and beyond the, uh, the standard tournament scheme of minimum three colors. Yeah, right. Uh, extra details, you're going a little above and beyond on the flesh, um, highlighting, uh, you know, the crosshairs on the little baby squig, I think that is. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. my glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, the source lighting, things like that, just a little above and beyond, but still not at the centerpiece sure. quality, mm -hmm. uh, which would be resolved or reserved for... Things like uh, a Horus model yes. that uh, I had planned to have here kind of fell through. But yes, there is uh, well, different yeah, levels of quality. They, you uh, charge a little bit more the, for your time, right? You kind of have to. Yeah, the Primark stuff like this coming out, they, they are amazing things. Like mm -hmm. if, I, if I ever bought one, I'd pay to have it partially painted and just have it displayed. Like I would never use that in a game and be like, no, no, this is on my mantelpiece. It looks awesome. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's the thing, too. Like, um, Right now, as, a, as they've been playing a demo game, um, mm -hmm. I've been working on a couple things for, for Joe. He mm -hmm. picked up a whole bunch of Orc Boys getting ready for the new Warhammer edition that, um, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a novice paint job. There's really only two colors going on here. I don't yeah. know if you can see that on the camera. I'm sort of uh, blind yeah. here. But, um, yeah, we can, yeah. It's, it's, all it's, <laughs> it's harder to so make out, yeah. He, in that case, that. it's not even, I don't even think that but would be tournament legal. You know, it, whoever painted it is sort of starting to get the idea of what would go into uh, a more advanced paint job as opposed to just the one color and go. Yeah. You know, they have the green skin, they're, they've maybe thrown a wash in there. And same thing with the metals, they've done a black and just started dry brushing, experimenting with different techniques. But then, just to, br just to bring it up a little bit, as I've been working on it here, um, if you can see the skin, you know, I brought the skin out a little bit, started picking out a few details. Uh, see, we're not going too crazy on it, but that would be approaching more of a tabletop quality uh, thing for, that uh, that I would do for somebody. And again, something like that, not absorbently expensive, but, but something that you would want to display on the table. You know, having uh, 50 of these guys sitting there, you know, if you spend uh, an hour or two on, on each one, you can get a pretty good result. Well, again, they, they would tell you like how well they want it there. It's like, okay, basic tabletop, a little bit better. Exactly. Or just now, if somebody wanted to say, Joe, um, <laughs> <laughs> I have 200 orc boys here. I want them all centerpiece quality. Here's $10,000. Take a year to do it. Right. Um, <laughs> 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 oh. We know Joe's got tons of cash. Tons of cash. I would say, okay, I shut down the websites and the right, uh, yes. Instagram and everything like that and I would just go dark for a year and come <laughs> back with this. You'd have a much bigger beard. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, and you've been doing this, like you said, for yourself three years, but with the studio one year. Yeah. And, and uh, well, we've put a link on the event mm -hmm. and definitely when this goes up, we're going to be putting a, a link to our page as well for you as well. No, it's always appreciated. Uh, is there anything else you're going to get there from? No, no, I think we're good. And, uh, so, well, uh, so you can stick around if you want to, Zach. And I, mean, I guess you're still going to keep doing some painting for Joe as you go Yeah, I'm going to do a couple things for Joe and then uh, I'm going to jet have a couple hour drive back. Uh, oh, where are you from? Well, I'm from Ottawa, but uh, went up to the cottage last night oh. with the kids for the weekend, oh, and right. then got up the car, and drive back here, today, oh, and then I'm going back, <laughs> back and forth, yeah. And, uh, well, thank you very much for coming hey, out. Hey, my pleasure. And uh, so uh, we're going to start going back to switch round two. Or, oh, sorry. Yeah, if I could put a quick plug in um, sure. for, for Zach, like uh, um, our Royal Tabletop Regiment um, basically kind of really kicked off properly about a year and a half ago after maybe being around for a couple of years. And um, we, we play a lot of Kessel Run here in Orleans because mm -hmm. a, a lot of us are from this area. Yeah. And the big thing is that we as a club are really short on terrain. So, yes. so Zach really helped out our club um, in a big way, you know, dedicating some of his time, being compensated but not obviously 
uh, maybe as much as tabletop, you know, high-end display quality. But we put a lot of personal time in to help the club out, and we really appreciate it because a lot of the terrain that we play on and enjoy, as much as it's nice to have painted figures, it's nice to have painted terrain. Yes. So you kind of get that full. So you're not using your mama's uh, Pyrex bowls at home on, yeah. uh, on a kitchen table. Well, look, here's my table in Star Wars foam cup. Yeah, that's, it's, a, uh, imagine that's it's a, an imperial yeah. bastion, guys. Yeah. Why can't yeah. you just imagine it? <laughs> so we've we've had a really awesome time uh, working with uh, Brushfire Studios and getting a lot of our club stuff mm -hmm. up and running. Mm -hmm. And then even personally, like the nice touches on, um, if you see on the storm surge, yes. you know, like he did the magnetization. He took a storm surge that was painted poorly, mm -hmm. you know, uh, got it right scrubbed down to the plastic and then brought it right back up from what used to be a terrible paint job actually into a nice, impressive, awesome paint job yeah. and did all the little extra touches too. So I've actually personally costed it out. If you are looking to send it away to one of the bigger studios, it, it'll cost you more than working with Zach, who's like one of the, our club guys. Um, mm -hmm. He's here in the Ottawa area. Which means you can just meet it at a Tim Hortons rather than having yes. all your your minis broken in uh, in yeah. shipping, mm -hmm. uh, and he's really easy to get a hold of um, both on the phone, email, text, whatever it is. So if you're like, hey, like me, and you're like, hey, I just uh, I really want you to do something a month ago, and then I play test, and I'm like, well, that's not gonna work. Have you started it yet? And he's like, nope. What's up? And then I'm like, hey, would you mind changing it to A B C instead of X Y Z? Yeah. Instead of having to deal with that, like using kind of like a technical support with a painting studio, like a big one in the states. Now all of a sudden, you know, you can change your color scheme a bit or change the weapons a bit, and it doesn't cost you much, if at anything, and it's um, it's a nice change rather than getting everything back, and it's all of a sudden uh, not what you wanted. Not what you want, yeah, yeah. So he's really uh, helpful on you know just getting out there and working with you to make your figures pop and look great, and it's for a very reasonable price. So yeah. for me, I don't have much time with the family, so I'd rather do a little bit of gaming. And Zach, he's one of those guys that just loves to do, do both yeah. the gaming yeah. and, and the, the, the studio. Too. Exactly. Well, I think I need to hire Joe as a PR guy now. <laughs> yeah. well, I'm the type Quickly. of, like, I don't have the skills, like, and mm -hmm. I have bad eyes and everything, so, you know, for me, it'd be like, oh, yeah, it looks good, and then people are like, what the hell, dude? Like, what, is that? What's, what is that supposed to be? So for me, it'd be more like, yeah, it's, uh, it's not that I don't have the time. It's like I know my skills and my abilities. So it'd be more like, yeah, here is Zach. Just can you work on a couple of HQ units for me and stuff like that. So. Hey, Zach, let's, let's uh, while we're doing this, uh, quickly plug that Chimera. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. So yes. Zach actually yeah, has painted yeah, the entire Death Core army that's, uh, that's on the table right now. Yes. This yeah. is one of the Chimeras he did for me. Uh, we added a bit of extra detail. Uh, we found some tank riders to put on it. And, yeah. uh, I'll let him walk you through it. So, um, like Mike said, I've been doing a, a Death Corps Army forum. Um, that's sort of been a, a work in progress for the last year, maybe. Yeah. Uh, I want to say maybe 120 ish. Yes, um, yeah, it's around there. Guardsmen, and then um, a handful of tanks with yeah. more with more armor on the way. It looks like. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Dang some it. Super heavy. Well, a tight, uh, yeah. Before I was gonna say, we'll, we keep talking. But before you go, I'll take some pictures with the the, the in depth close up pictures with the phone and stuff like that to put up for later on. Mm -hmm. Sure. Because yeah. the, right now, the, unfortunately, the camera sees it but doesn't see like the true detail that we want to capture in that picture and stuff like that. Yeah, so. that sounds good. You can also pull them from uh, from the Facebook page oh, okay. and everything like that too. I'm pretty diligent with uh, with photos and. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. That's one thing I liked about it. Uh, you know, while the project is with Zach. I, I, I text him and just say, do you have any work, work in progress picks? And he'll he'll send you them if he has them, or he'll say, you know, let me work tonight and I'll send you one. Yeah. And yes. uh, yeah, the back and forth is just perfect. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like to stay in contact with people that way they can provide feedback mm -hmm. during the process. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if, if I was doing this for Mike and maybe the tank was a little too gray for him and he said, can you make the white pop a little more? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, that way I don't get too far into it mm -hmm. that I can't go back. Yeah. Right. Um, and Mike was pretty good with the uh, with the extra details here that were nice to work with, like the uh, the sandbags. Um, I have no idea where he got them, but they turned out <laughs> great. Um, you know, they were uh, they were interesting to uh, to paint as well as um, you know the uh, the mesh here. And um, I've been a big fan of this project in particular because of all the weathering that I've gotten to do. Um, you know, he wanted a uh, you know, a, an armored army that's been sitting out in the elements, um, you know, melting snow and mud and things like that. And he wanted the army to really look like it too, not just a, a clean, crisp, typical heavy metal games workshop paint yeah. job where there's, you know, Perfect. no, yeah, everything's everything's crisp. There's clean lines and everything like that, like the the storm surge. You know, everything's yeah. very clean. Um, but this was definitely fun to do, and um, you know, I learned a lot too, weathering all these tanks. Yeah. Um, there was a lot of research that goes into 
how is, how does rust actually look? How is right. it going to look coming through paint? Um, where does snow stay on the tank? Yeah, where does yeah, it melt? Exactly, yeah. exactly. So you know you're not going to have the snow sitting right on top of the uh, the turret because that's where all the heat's coming out. Tracks mm -hmm. on top, it's fine. Um, just little things like that. And uh, unfortunately, it didn't get the horse model out here, but that it's was pretty amazing. neat because it's the um, and again, I have a picture on the website. Yes. But <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the base, it's a it's a big stone base. If anybody's ever seen it, yes, and yes. I decided that I wanted to do it as a marble base. Ooh, um, oh yeah. Which again, that was a challenge just to figure out how am I going to do the marble, um, and I even went so far as to talk to a geologist about it and say, "How is this marble supposed to look?" And you know, you can just crisscross every all the veins every which way. But if you want to make it look uh, like the marble that everybody has in their mind when they think, "Well, marble staircase or a marble pillar," you know, all the veins. Are directional, you know, because the mar that marble is famous from Italy, etc., etc., etc. So just the just the little things that are neat to uh, to try to figure out and take it a little step above and beyond for uh, for a mini. Now, and looking at it in the pictures, especially on the camera here, uh, the the colors are very muted. They're they're kind of washed out. Uh, in person, they, they look <laughs> way different, way more detailed. Yeah, and it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to tell with with the pictures. Uh, one of the benefits of being a local is you could physically bring a sample to someone if they wanted to just meet up somewhere and say this is what I've gotten so far mm -hmm. is this what you're looking for and then you can if there's modifications that need to be made but I do done. like the idea like for the guard especially because yeah. you know, they're, they're, they're not they're crisp. real people they're right? real people yeah. like you, you fight in yeah. crap conditions your vehicle's yeah. going to look like whereas crap. Tell, tell wanted to look good like they're you know they're all about the They're pretty boys. They're pretty boys. They're pretty boys. Yeah. They used to clean their uh, their basements and their bedrooms when they were kids. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but, uh, but no. Well, thank you very much, Zach. Uh, hey, this my is pleasure. Great. Um, I hope you pick up more business from this. We're definitely gonna put links on our yeah, page sure. for this and stuff like that. Um, and uh, like, I just saw you doing the touch-ups to, like you said, the works that you that uh, Joe had. And those are, you know, you was you wasn't taking very long to do those quick little touch-ups. Yeah. So he's fast. If I, if he's I fast. Put, uh, Stick two of them here. I don't know if you can, you can yep. see, but even how long? How long did your first turn take? What, an hour? Yeah, probably Maybe. with all the talking. An hour yeah. talking, yeah. Probably no, an with hour. all the talking and everything like that. Just the just the difference an hour can make. Um, you know, if I don't know if you Teeth, can see that. Eyes, can, yeah, just weapons, a few details. Yeah. It decals. An hour into something, um, yeah. really goes a long and they, way. They, yeah, they both start Shading, off the same, but yeah. now it's so much better. Pistol actually looks like it. Uh, it's orky. Yep. Awesome. Coming for an, to an Eldar craft world near you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm hoping they're going to keep you more busy. Perfect. On there. Um, or we're going to switch back to turn, uh, sorry, not turn two, round two. What do they call battle round? Yeah, turn battle two. Round. So, battle round. Battle two, round two uh, for this. And uh, Zach is going to have to head back to his uh, kitties and the yeah. cottage. Poor guy. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Twist my like arm a little bit, eh? Yeah. Take a beer for me, Zach. <laughs> But uh, thanks very much, uh, Zach, for this. My and pleasure. Thanks, Joe, for uh, bringing uh, Zach in on this there. Thanks for, yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks for paying my stuff. Of course. <laughs>